Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. Today we're going to talk about Kevin Lavroni saying that he thinks Mike O'Hearn is natural. So, seriously, how does it feel to know that this guy thinks that we're all stupid when it comes to who is enhanced or not? Like, <laughs> like come on. Seriously. So, the video clip about the show was posted on July 15th, 2020. Kevin had an interview with Generation Garbage, I mean, uh, Generation Iron. I'm gonna talk. I'm not gonna talk about the whole video, just mainly the Michael Hearn part. But the whole video is garbage, anyways. Uh, so let's go ahead and play the clip, and then of course, you know, I'm gonna comment afterwards. So here we go. I was gonna ask you, what, what do you think about Michael Hearn? I think, I think this. Let me tell you something. Uh, Michael Hearn has a work ethic that I don't even have, okay? And yeah, honestly, you know you know me, Valet. I mean, I've only trained when there was a show to get, to get ready for. Mike has always been in shape his whole entire life. You know, that's just his mindset, all right? So let's start from there. So that's the genetic gene that he has that I don't have, okay? Now, to do that, you, you have to be consistent, training, diet. He's always in the gym. I don't think Michael's training regimen and his focus has changed in his commitment as far as uh, pursuing, you know, his workouts and his training. Mike has always been like that. See, people don't understand. He's been wearing, he's been wearing that for years and years and years. And I want to tell you something. He's been very, very consistent. I've never seen Michael Heron out of shape, never in my entire life. And when people do use, you can tell when they're using, you can tell when they're on, you can tell when they're not on. You know, their, their DNA or their, their genetics just fluctuate, you know? Look at all of us, look at every Mr. Olympia, right? Every Mr. Olympia. Everybody that competed at that level, they're fluctuating. But you look at these natural athletes, okay? They're so consistent, it's mind-blowing. And I believe that I believe that Michael Heron is natural. You know, I believe he I, I believe I believe that I believe that he is, you know, I, I really do because his work ethic is just unbelievable. He's never got injured. Never an injury. A lot of times when you when you cycle on and off, you know, your strength goes up and down. He's always been very, very consistent. And you just don't see that kind of consistency in someone who's cycling, uh, uh, you know, steroids. Very, very consistent. You see that solid consistency in someone who is just natural. Because they naturally wake up, they naturally that strong, they naturally have that drive. They just have it naturally, you know. And um, I never see Michael O'Hearn's weight fluctuate to where he goes up to 290, you know, and come down to 225. You just don't see it, right? Always very consistent. There's always, always, yeah, always. always like this. So. Okay, so. Get this window off. All right, where where do we start? First of all, complete garbage. <laughs> complete garbage. Um, let's see. Has a work ethic. Yeah, no shit. This is what happens when you pursue something you actually love doing. Okay, so when you do something you don't like to do, then are you gonna put in as much effort? Probably not. Wow. Wow, mind blown, right? And then you find something you like and you have passion for it. What's going to happen? You're probably going to have some crazy work ethic, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. Next one. Uh, let's see. Been in shape his entire life. Okay, so if you've been athletic most of your life and you're still athletic right now and you do things like 
go to the gym consistently. Of course, you're gonna be in shape. This is stupid. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, okay, mindset is a genetic gene. Okay, I'm not, the only thing I'm gonna say about this is that I think I just lost a brain cell. <laughs> this, there's no, um, he has been very consistent. Okay, so you're telling me that Mike has been very consistent, so he's natural. So you're telling me that, you know, if you're taking anabolics, then you're not consistent, right? Some weird logic there, Kevin. Uh, never been out of shape. This does not mean you're natural. This just means you work out and you eat decent year round. You could always be in shape, either natural or enhanced. And then also the whole weight fluctuate comment. It's like, if, look, Kevin, Mike is just maintaining at a certain point now. He's not trying to like, what, go 300 plus pounds. And he's not going to come down because he's not going to hop off his cycle. Like he's always going to be on. And you know that. You know that, Kevin. <laughs> you know that. Uh, let's see. Next one. Work ethic is unbelievable okay so once again this does not mean somebody is natural because they have unbelievable work ethic so you're pretty much saying that mr olympic competitors have no unbelievable work ethic because they take anabolics right or you know knowing kevin laroni he'll come back with the plot twist and say that all mr olympic competitors are natural maybe he will say it i don't know let's see next one um never got injured okay so you can cycle on and off anabolics without getting injured easily it's called um training smart wow you can actually train smart wow you can do it either naturally or enhanced you need to be trying or look you don't need to be trying to lift the entire world Every time you set foot in the gym, okay, you need that mind muscle connection. Let's see. Next one. Um, he has consistency. Once again, I honestly like he, he's just like, he was just saying the same things over and over, just kind of like adjusting a few words here and there. But it's, so you're telling me that pretty much with, you know, this logic that all Mr. Olympia competitors are natural because they have consistency. So does that mean the guys that are top bodybuilders that are taking anabolics have no consistency? Sounds like a big slap to the face for, you know, a lot of these guys by saying something like that, right? Uh, naturally has that drive. Okay, so when you find something that you love doing, no fucking shit. <laughs> You're going to have a natural drive for it. Whether you're taking drugs or not, okay? Uh, let's see, next one. This one, this is just stupid. You can tell when they're on or not on because their DNA or genetics fluctuates. Okay, so first of all, stop telling people it's bullshit because nobody is doing extensive tests on your DNA or genetics. You can just look at people and probably be right about them being on or not on without any extensive tests whatsoever. So pretty much Kevin is a liar and a shill, okay? There's no way that he thinks Michael Hearn is natural. And I was gonna talk about, you know, Kevin's cycle that he supposedly did, um, you know, years back. But I don't want the video to be super long. And like with the information I found, like from the same time period that I think he was like competing, there's like three or four different responses that he gave. So like the discrepancy there is like crazy, but it's, it's what happens when you run around in circles and lie. Okay. So yeah, that's, uh, my two CCs for today. My, my rant for, <laughs> for the day. Uh, thanks for watching, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.